All right. Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice is coming clear and good from your side. Please invite your friends and share the link with your friends in Facebook, Twitter, wherever you can. Today, our topic is about the wife of Allah. The wife of Allah. Now, as we know, the Muslims, they claim that their God don't have a son, but they don't really tell us what is the reason is. Uh, so today we are going to discuss a reasoning which Muslims don't even mention because, hmm, because of what? Uh, because Islam is simply, if we discuss those reasoning, we will notice right away that Islam is a stupid religion. So please invite your friends. We just started the broadcast. And uh, for sure, I choose, you know, as you see in the screen, a beautiful woman for Allah uh, as a possible bait for him. He might show up during our conversation and he might talk to us. But as my experience is, Muhammad, he waited for a long time. He never heard the voice of his God. He never saw him. You have nothing of him except someone he do delivery his name is Jibreel I have delivery from time to time it come from Amazon etc but that doesn't mean that God is speaking to me so when the Muslims speak about why God cannot have a son if we go right now in the internet and we search for some statement before we start showing you how is stupid the cult of Islam and by the way when I say the word stupid I don't mean to insult but this is what I believe it is so this is not an insult and not the purpose is to insult but what I can do I mean this religion is so stupid and don't blame me for saying the word is stupid too much if we go right now and we search <clears throat> why God cannot have a son It's just a search, you know, search. But for sure, I want to, you know, uh, I want to show you what the Muslims, they say. This is the Deen show, 90 verses that says, is not God, nor literal son of God. Hmm. 90 verse the Muslims, they found in the Bible, it says that there is no God, uh, there is no God that he have a son 90 verse I mean what do you want more all right now when you look for 90 verse you claim that they don't uh, they mean that God don't have a son isn't it this is against even your Quran because your Quran and let me show you the 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 madness of the Muslims <clears throat> Because they search the whole Bible, the, the Muslims, according to them, they search the whole Bible, especially in the Old Testament. They could not find a verse saying that God have a son. But this is mean the following. This verse in the front of us, it says and claim that the Jews who they corrupted their Torah supposedly they have in their Torah a verse, it says in chapter 9, verse number 30. We will read together. The Jews call Uzair the son of Allah. So how you search the whole Torah and you could not find a verse saying that Uzair is a son of Allah. Any Muslim can answer us? How you search all the Bible, but you could not find that verse. That means uh, you Muslims are lying, Allah is lying, and there is no such a verse. And you are confirming that. Same time, your God Allah confirm that in the Bible, the Christian they have in their book, that Christ is the son of Allah. So you said, you search the Bible, you do not find that, which is a, absolutely a joke, because we can show you the whole book from the beginning, from page number one, speaking about the Messiah, the Word of God who became a flesh. You know, the word son, 
which the Muslim don't want to understand, they think that God have you know kids. Hmm? They think when we say uh, Jesus is son of God, that means God he have a wife and he have a, he have a, he have uh, sons. And that actually, not only their understanding, this is the understanding of the author of the Quran, Aka Muhammad. Read with me carefully, please. If we go in the Quran, <coughs> I will choose a different verse. The Quran is the, again, I'm not insulting. The Quran is the most stupid book ever, and I challenge any Muslim to say, I don't agree with you. Let me first be sure that our Skype is on. Okay. So, Muslims, they can call in case. Only Muslims can call now. Only. I don't accept calls from Christians. All right. This is the Quran in front of us. Look what Allah He said. This is Allah is talking. So don't be upset from the Dean show saying stupid things because Allah says more stupid things. Allah He said, and I will read for you from the Muslim translation as usual, not my translation. Let us see what does that mean. Chapter 6, verse 101, translation. Okay. This is, as you see, the translation made by Muslims come from the Muslims. I have nothing to do with it. I'm just reading for you what it does say there. <clears throat> to him is due the primal origin of the heaven and the earth how can he have a son when he has no concern <laughs> i cannot hold myself from laughing <laughs> after two thousand years not even a single donkey who claimed to be a scholar in Islam, he know even what Christianity is about. And that is not to blame on the scholars of Islam, which I believe they are donkeys, because their God himself is the biggest donkey. Look at this God, what he is saying. How he can have a son if he don't have a girlfriend? Like, what the heck? <laughs> How can he read with me carefully, Muslims, at the stupidity of the Quran author? Now, you want to tell me this is your God, you want to tell me this is Muhammad, I don't care. Whoever said that is a stupid. For many, many reasons. Number one, Christians don't believe that God have a concert. And that after they have sex, they have a son from that. Number two, God do not need to have sex to have something to happen because don't you you muslims you say in your quran if god you wanted something to be he say be and it's going to be and this is taken from the bible too so how come now allah saying how can he have a son The God who questioned by saying who can he, how can he, that is not God. For now, how can you be God if you cannot do something? Unless, which make it more horrible, unless you have a woman to sleep with. So what this God is saying to us clear with the clear words that Allah cannot be God. For how can he have a son? when he has no concert so the only way for allah to have a son is to have a woman and that mean that this god is a man like me if you ask me why you don't have kids i will say how i can have kids when i don't have a woman so allah he gave us a clear definition of himself that he is limited and he cannot do things unless he have something else the necessity of having kids is to have a male and female and this necessity 
prove to us that Allah he cannot accomplish any mission unless he have the same as we have we need to have a woman that is an answer of a stupid God who cannot be God for he just confirmed to us that he is limited the same as any of us he cannot have women he can he don't have a woman so how, how he can have a son now this is again proven to us that the one who made the Quran is a stupid why that's mean that the Quran teach that we Christians believe that God have a wife and that wife is Mary but all of us we knew that this is absolutely stupid and this is not true and even the Quran confirmed that Mary she gave birth to Jesus and she was virgin so what does the do have to do with us how you can give me such an answer when we as a Christian and you know that and this is confirming your Quran and you agree with it that Mary she was a virgin so which mean when we say virgin it's mean nobody nobody doesn't matter who have sex with her so what do you mean how can he have a son when he has no girlfriend and why he used the word girlfriend I mean isn't it a shame that even Allah is involved in the world of dating in Arabic he did not say a wife he said sahiba so uh, how Allah can have a son if he don't have a girlfriend <clears throat> do we have any Muslim here would like to give us a call if you like to call us if you like to call me my Skype is open please feel free uh, uh, you know uh, I will be happy to hear your voice and you can refute me if I'm wrong all right feel free now this God who he said how I can have a son while I don't have a girlfriend was he aware that in different verse he said if he want to take a girlfriend he will but she have to be from the virgins in the heaven hmm yeah my throat is not doing good because I'm talking too much that's normal right thank you very much <clears throat> In order to make my throat feel better, I have to stop talking, and that's something I can't do. Uh, so, what kind of God does God who say that? And then, in the same time, in different verse in the Quran, He says something even more stupid. Let us see what is more stupid than this. This is nothing yet. The stupidity of the Quran is beyond imagination. In chapter this is the verse we mentioned yesterday about if a woman she divorce a man uh, if the man divorce her three time she have to go and f someone else before she can get back to the husband the previous husband which additional stupid story in the Quran proving to us that this religion is a filthy disgusting cult to force a woman to sleep around so she can get back to her husband now we go back to that verse when I talk about which is part of our topic we go to the chapter of Al-Anbiya verse number 17 and as you see Muslims everything we are using the screen this is your Islamic website this is your interpretation this is your translation we did nothing absolutely nothing in chapter 21 verse number 17 it says then Allah revealed the following when he said that the angels are Allah daughters he's he said if we had wished to find pastime if we wish to have a daughters and it is said it's this is mean if we wish to have a wife and it's also said this is mean if we wish to have a children and it's also said if it's mean we if we wish to have a TV and it was also said it's mean it if you wish to have a shoe and it's also said if we wish to have a, 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 a computer, I mean, how many wish here? 
it's also said it's also said it's also said obviously the scholars of Islam they are suffering and struggling with the stupidity of the Quran to the point they keep saying it's also said it's also said it's also said which one of them which one of those you see I open interpretation of the cousin of the Prophet who is the only scholar named by Muhammad and the scholar of the scholar he keeps saying it's also said it's also said it's also said so now which one of the also said is the correct one are we going to guess this is the word of God this is not a joke so if I'm a Muslim I have to live by also said it's also said somebody said it's also said that Allah he meant by this that he would like to have 4k iPhone it's also said that Allah he mean by this he like to drink Pepsi Cola it's also said that Allah meant by this that he is have no idea what he's talking about this is the religion however the important here Allah saying Allah saying not me listen Abdul not me if Allah want to have a daughter hmm, or he wish to have a wife or he wished to have a children I'm giving you all the cases it's mentioned in front of you he would find them from you see here in the English translation they try to fool us they say from our presence it doesn't say that in Arabic it says from ourself said from us here we go do you see it Allah if you want to take a daughter or a wife or a child he will take it from us what is us any Abdul for those who do not know what lahu mean lahu mean two things in the language of the Arab women and the F word women and the F word so Allah saying if you want to have a woman or we have we like to F somebody we are going to F somebody which is from our kind from us who are they those who Allah is going to F the medians of paradise Allah is going to F the versions how in the world that can be a statement coming from God no 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 he did not use here we this is not about we no you don't understand let me explain to you you are using the Quran where Allah he say you the word here is not about we he mentioned the word we in every statement in this line you see here aradna na is us okay see the na here is about we but this is not the problem here here he said we in every word but he said the word ladun na ladun na from our kind from our kind from ourself from our blood ladun na so Allah in the Quran confirmed that he is not one there is many of his kind because how you say you see the Muslim they say that all Allah when he say we as they claim he is talking about himself as majestic but here he's going to f himself if this is about himself only when he say from us he is talking about taking a wife and this wife he is going to f her so he will f himself and the wife is himself are we following abdul Allah is going to F himself and he will take a wife of himself and Allah is one but yet he is going to F himself I mean you explain that to me how he say from us and I'm going to F us and that us is supposed to Allah as the Muslims always claim but in this scenario will not work because Allah will F himself and that will be horrible I feel sorry for him 
he will spend the whole day trying to reach it to that point. So the stupidity of the Quran get farther in stupidity with every verse in the Quran to the point Allah saying that if you like to F a woman, he will F it from us. Now, who is us? He explained to us, he said, from the virgins. So you see, Allah is lying to the Muslims here too, saying to them that those virgins are virgin, but obviously he is playing with them already. And then the Muslims in the interpretation, they say, if we ever did, and we will never do, hmm? it doesn't say, by the way, it doesn't say we will never do. This is not, you know, it says, to be accurate, in kunna fa'ireen, if we do that, if we do that, it doesn't say ever, and we will never do. So if we do that, we are going to F a women from our kind. And those who are the virgins. <clears throat> so, it is possible to Allah to have a wife. This is number one. This is what the verse is saying. And this wife is going to be from the kind of Allah, from us. Therefore, it cannot be Allah. Otherwise, Allah is going to have sex with himself. And then Allah explain who is us. Us is the virgins in the heaven. However, in different interpretation, it gives us more details. Read carefully with me. Had we desire to find some diversion in that which be provide diversion in the way of partner or a child, partner or a child, okay, take, take care of this. Huh? So Allah clearly speaking about if we want to take a partner or a child, we had found it, we have we we would have found it with ourself. So ourself does not mean Allah is one. Because how Allah he considered himself one of many if they are not like him. Are we following Muslims? If Allah is one of his kind. If Allah is one of his kind. And then now he says ourself. Always the Muslim they speak that Allah he say about himself, ourself, our us, uh, our, you know, we. Uh, that is a majestic statement. But this is not the scenario here. Abdul, listen carefully. Here he is going to have sex with a partner or a child. So either he will take a partner for sex and then he will have a child from that partner. So in order to do that, he have to have sex first with the partner, as we showed you from the different verse in the Quran. And now he is saying to us, if we want to find that partner, we will find it with ourself. So our self cannot be that Allah only one that must be Allah is many and those are his kind who is his kind let us see his kind from among the beautiful eyed huris or angels so Allah here is making it clear for us if he want to have a partner for sex so he can make a son hmm? he will not take a human don't think that he will think about someone like Mary as an example he will not like that Allah he like women who they have a beautiful eye the Huri This is the only choice Allah he like. Don't even try to get a closer. This is what Allah he like. And those women who have beautiful eyes, they are from our self, which means they are from the kind of Allah. And they are exist in heaven and the Quran describe them as a hurul ain, which I find really amazing. Because if Hurul Ain later they are going to sleep with men 
and Allah described them as us which mean they are from his kind so that mean that Muslims when they go to heaven they will sleep with divine female goddess this is Islam it's a collection of stupidity and the more you read the more you feel that this is not even qualified to be in a cartoon movie a God who says to us hold on hold on I don't like to sleep with any kind of females huh if I like to sleep around with females I will choose females from ourselves okay ourselves and you have a family there I thought you are the only uh, one there no we have I have a family what are you talking about yeah those are my kind ourself from ourself from my bloodline what is your bloodline Allah uh, you do not know uh, the virgins uh-huh and what else and the angels don't forget the angels because the the interpretation will mention the angel as we will see soon so this religion is not a qualified to be even a cult for the stupidity inside it is beyond imagination. We go back. Then the interpretation continue. I mean the disaster continue. And he says, from ourself, we found it with ourself from among the beautiful eyed huris or angels. Imagine Allah is going to have sex with the angel Jibreel. Soon we are going to attend the wedding of the God Allah and the angel Jibreel. And then after they have sex, Jibreel will get a breath I cannot wait to see Jibreel coming to me and he have his hand in his back. And he say, Christian Prince, I don't have patience for you today. Uh, it's my delivery day, okay? Yeah, it's coming soon. Like, uh, I don't know. Uh, please stay close uh, so you can call the embalas. Jibreel is going to be the sixth partner of Allah. The Huris is the Hur, Hurul Ain, the women which Allah described and he made for sex for the Muslims this is this is Quran and this is God book and this is God's talking and this is why they not have oh God don't have a son because he don't like to have a uh, women from this earth he like to have uh, something higher level and those are the virgin who he put his finger in their vagina and he make them virgin again each time they have sex and those supposedly is how is his our his kind so what the verse here confirmed to us that Allah have a kind <clears throat> and his kind is the virgins and the island and uh, sorry the and the and the angels yeah since I saw this picture in the beach I want to go to the beach man I want to meet the wife of Allah If we bring this wife to, to, to Allah, I assure you that Allah will forget about all the versions. And Muhammad, he will make a chapter about her and he will call it the chapter of the bikini. And the chapter of the bikini is going to contain many bikini verses. And he will start with this. Bismillah rahman rahim The bikini and what is the bikini? It drive me drive me crazy as a zucchini. She is tall and she is high, and she make me really fly. When I saw her body, I don't know even I can say I am coming or to say goodbye. Look at herself, she is holding her panty. And what do you know about her panty? It's like a jewelry is made from a high quantity. Uh, I don't know what to say. I mean, this is so much. It's inspiring. I feel like giving Quran right now. So they say to us, God don't have a wife, but we find that God, he can have sex. 
So what they are saying to us that the God of Islam he chose to be single. Well, hello, I am single too. Does that mean I'm God? There is nothing in Islam prove Allah to be God. <clears throat> they just admitted that this God, it is possible for him to have sex. But he is looking. No, I cannot zoom in the picture. Sorry. Come tomorrow. <clears throat> Do we have any Abdul want to call us and explain to us the stupidity of Islam? Anyone? Uh, don't take me wrong. I'm amazed by the intelligence of the one who wrote the Quran. I mean, this is amazing, man. Who can even say no? This is so good. I feel so good. And the Muslim, they say to us, brother, when you see the, you only hear the Quran, it's amazing. But the Muslims, they do. They bring you someone, he have a nice voice, and he sing for you. This guy, whatever he sing, is going to come nice. What about you make uh, uh, Shabir Ali sing the Quran for us? And then you will see how stupid it is, especially the voice. So they focus in a voice. They bring you a voice of a guy who sing nicely. He have a nice voice. He sing for you the Quran. And they say to you, isn't it amazing? Isn't it amazing? Do you remember once I made a video? about uh, about uh, a guy his name is Sheikh al -Uraifi. this guy he have a conference in France so they brought a, brought a French I think it's called Quran experiment the video you can search for it uh, Quran experiment uh, I need to find it if anyone remember it maybe you can post the link anyway so they brought a French guy to the stage and they said to him and there's thousands of people watching all right and the camera are recording and they said to him uh, uh, the sheikh, the sheikh, the, the sheikh is speaking Arabic. The other, there is a translator. So he told him, Now the sheikh is going to make two kinds of Quran. One is not from God, fake, and one is from God. He want to know which one will enter upon your heart more. So this guy, he ch choose, he start saying, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, Quran. And Bismillah, Ilahman, Ilahim, Laza, Hazahin, Zagana, Zazim. Okay, finish. Now, he now recite the second Quran. So remember, one of them is false and one of them is true. And he recite the second Quran. Now they ask the guy, which one is the Quran which enter your heart? They want to prove to people, and this guy, he is not paid, he is not fake, he does not know. We are going to recite the Quran for him. One is fake Quran and one a true Quran. And both for him, they sound close because it's Arabic, you know. I mean, he don't understand Arabic. So which one is the one enter your heart? And guess what? The French guy, he chose the fake Quran. Was very, very stupid and embarrassing for all those Muslims in the state. He chose the fake one. He said that this one didn't enter my heart. He said, are you sure? He said, yeah, yeah. He said, are you sure? Are you sure? He said, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the fake Quran made him feel better. You can give any words, even if the word is saying shitty, shitty, shitty shit, for a nice voice, and is going to come beautiful. For he have a nice voice. It doesn't matter what he say. There's tons of songs saying the F word, but people they hear them and they find them very beautiful because the guy he have a nice voice and there's a nice background music. So the Muslim they add the music by their voice. And the Western person who do not know what the heck is that, he find it interesting. It's the same as like listening for Chinese. But what is this ching Allah knows best. Who care? 
it's not important the meaning is not important it's how beautiful it is i bring you a voice of a person hmm? which is very nice voice and then i make him sing the quran and then i say to you do do you think huh what do you think what I what I what about you bring me Shabir Ali or uh, Zakir Naik reciting the Quran? Let us see how that will work. Bismillah al-Rahman al-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi al-Sadan al-Din. Ahdidun al-Din. Adariyat al-Qurtu awriyat al-Tatim. Athurini athik al-Tatim. Inna min athur athur din bitim athur taqoo din tatim. Taqoo wa idamni athik athitim dita athin din al-Din. Hamdul dika dida dida adadudi adadu adadidi adadu adadu adadidi adadu adadu adadidi adadu 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 Thank you very much. And now, like, you will be like, wow, that's amazing how he can do that. Who can recite the Quran better than Zakir Naik, brother? Unbelievable. Do we have any Muslim? Do we have any Muslim? Who is a brave Muslim? He dared to call me. All right, guys. I'm going to stop the video here because I want people to download this video and share it. All right? And what I will do, I will start broadcast again after five minutes. Good deal? Give me five minutes. We will start a new broadcast. So you can download this video and share it with your friends. It's not so long. And we will be back. The beach? See you in five minutes. And if you are a Muslim, feel free to call me as soon we start the live broadcast again in five minutes from now. So in five minutes, just don't forget to subscribe, refresh your page, you will receive notification, click at my page, you will see the live broadcast and you join. God bless you and see you in five minutes from now again. Take care.